So I'm really puzzled about something. This weekend, I have seen Yahoo and Cortana serving up malvertising to a lot of East Asian computers. Yet I have seen absolutely nothing in the news. Yeah, it's not just some CD websites that have been infected. It was Yahoo. Yeah, I know Yahoo are not exactly big on security, the way they keep giving away all their users' password details, but even so... So let me explain what malvertising is first, without particularly reading this page, because I don't think it's that good. But yes, it's a serving of malicious adverts, which will try and exploit something within your system. Usually a Flash Player, but not always. Could also be Java, Microsoft Office, something within the browser. And you can get infected on any operating system, be it Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iPhone, any of them. Generally, the aim is to cause the exploit to download a second stage executable and become persistent on the system. It would then try and aim for ad injection, a technique by which ads are surreptitiously inserted in web pages without getting permission of site owners or paying them. In this case of the recent lot of exploits I've seen, they're just replacing the ads on the web pages. So looking through the results on Google for the past week, we have Rough Ted malvertising campaign. I'll have a look at that in a moment, but it's not that. So looking a bit about Rough Ted. A large-scale malvertising campaign, Rough Ted, is used to deliver links to malicious websites and payloads such as scams, adware, exploit kits, and ransomware. It began late May and continuing to peak impacting organisations in 150 different countries. The top affected companies were in the education, communications, retail and wholesale sector. The malvertising related infection rates spiked in recent months as attackers only have to compromise one online ad provider to reach a wide range of victims with little effort, as there is no need to maintain a heavy distribution infrastructure for the malware. A map of it doesn't exactly correspond to what I've been seeing, which was around this area here. Maybe a little bit towards China, but we don't have so many sites there for me to have much in the way of details of, and same for Japan, we have very little presence there, so I don't have so much knowledge there, but yes, certainly around Singapore and Indonesia, we do have a bit of presence, and I was seeing quite a few fully patched Windows 10 systems with Chrome or Internet Explorer, getting infected. So what is the answer? Use an ad blocker? Sorry, it doesn't work. Rough Ted related domains accumulated over half a billion hits and was responsible for many successful compromises due to effective techniques that triage visitors and bypass ad blockers. So it bypasses antivirus and bypasses ad blockers. Unfortunately, I can't really discuss exactly how I found this, and I can't demonstrate the exploit due to the fact that just because you visit a website that is serving exploit kits doesn't guarantee you're going to get exploited, or doesn't guarantee that the exploit kit is actually going to come down. So I added some links into NoTrack. This should stop it, but this is only one. This is not necessarily that TED malvertising. It was using the domains Dave's Best Deals, Donation Tools, hoholickic.club and a couple of others which I added later on. Anything about this? No. And this site was actually delivering the exploits. Again, I'm sorry I can't demonstrate this. I have not asked permission for my work to show anything from the tools they're using, so yeah, I'm kind of limited there. Absolutely nothing about this domain. Looking at the past month, no. Nope. davesbestdeals.com well, nothing for the past month, but I know that any time. Malwaretips.com, 2nd of Jan 2015, remove ads from this pop-up virus. It was known back then to be malicious. But why it's making resurgence now, don't know. Is it necessarily part of the same campaign? No, it's probably just that this company uh, have absolutely no ethics and will just pay up to whoever shows their adverts, and if it takes an exploit kit to show the adverts, then that's who they're going to pay. They don't care. Reminds me of this article from the Daily Mirror. Cody users could be exposing their children to explicit content for illegal streaming because age-inappropriate adverts have been showing on streams. 
Father Tony was forced to have an awkward conversation with his son after an inappropriate graphic pops up in the middle of a film he was streaming through Popcorn Time on Cody. As I said, some of these companies have absolutely no ethics. So that's some of what I've been seeing this week. Um, sorry, there's no real answer on how to protect yourself. I'm not even going to say that no track has all the solutions. It's just I'm adding what I'm seeing. Using OpenDNS for your DNS provider might help because this is where I'm obtaining some of the data from. Kind of a downer to leave on, really. Well, thanks for watching. See you all later.